Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Kondzielska, and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. Do you know the name of Nina Novak? Probably not, but you should. She became one of the most recognizable Polish ballet dancers in USA. And right now, being 97 years old, she's with me in the studio. Madam, it's absolutely incredible, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Let's move back in the history and watch how Nina Novak looked on the stage. Madam, so after achieving huge success in USA, traveling all over the country, receiving 50 honorable citizenships of different cities in US, you decided to marry another man and move to South America. Who was he and why this kind of decision? I thought that he loved so much uh, what I was doing and, and uh, also my uh, presence, <laughs> that uh, uh, he was traveling by plane by just the uh, weekend to see me dance every place in the, in the United States. Oh, wow, so he was yeah. traveling after you. After me, is, I remember in, uh, when I danced in Chicago, th there was such a, a bliss that couldn't uh, uh, any the planes come plane because come. of the storm. So yes. he took a, a special plane, that, uh, uh, how you call it? Uh, Private plane or jet. 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 Some, jet. Kind, yes. some kind of plane. <laughs> they, it could uh, get to the to Chicago to see me dance, <laughs> Coppelia. Oh, that's pretty amazing. So he really adored you. So, yes. And you moved with him to Venezuela. Yes. And you stayed there. Uh, first, I traveled all over uh, other cities, other countries of uh, Latin America. And I even met uh, one of the dancers who was with me in Belarus, in Argentina, this uh, Polish girl. It, it was uh, such a life. In that day. And you established a ballet school in Venezuela. Yes, because uh, I already was teaching and uh, uh, doing choreography with, for Belarus. I am a coach. I coach uh, all the uh, necessary ballet. My biggest achievement in my choreography was uh, to stage in Central Park uh, uh, Ballet. So you performed ballet and in Central Park in New York? In New York, and also another ballerina uh, 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 over there also, a ballerina from Latin America. And over there, necess uh, it was necessary to do, because in pa Central Park is around. The people were sitting in a room, and in ballet is always in one side flat. And to change all the choreography on a room. And uh, it, it gave it to me this work. Not only I danced there, but I did the whole choreography that uh, the that Central Park could see the choreography around, changing. I understand, amazing. So you made the choreography, but you yourself, you danced in it as well. Yes. Being how many years old? 
52, 52. So you were 52 or around like this, and you prepared your own choreography and you danced in it as well. Uh, yes. Wow, you were uh, multitasking definitely. <laughs> and I did the uh, one ballet complete and their choreography in Central Park. And this was very, very in interesting work and very difficult to do, to that the people, the, the choreography change, changing and that everybody could see. And I received a very high uh, writing in the... Review. Review in the New York. In the New York Times. New York Times, it can be taken because New York Times has a... a uh, archives, the, huge they, archives. They have this. <laughs> so, this, uh, if somebody is curious, if I say, the, uh, if, the, if it's true, the truth can go there and take, take it out and check it out. out at that time. This, I, I was, uh, and also the all uh, in the radio. They radio were station. giving me credit. For that, that was my one of the biggest achievements in my life uh, as a Polish girl. <laughs> Wonderful. So Polish girl <laughs> actually took over Central Park and showed Americans how to do a proper ballet there uh, and perform it as well, being over 50 years old. That's absolutely amazing. But you are right now very soon on the 23rd of March going to finish 97 years old, so you'll have <laughs> birthday. What are your plans for celebration? No plans. <laughs> no plans. No. <laughs> but maybe you could... Well, I hope that somebody will have some... some <laughs> somebody will have some plans for you. But could you share with us your secret of longevity, which you definitely have? Yes. What are they? Love for people. Love people. Yes. And I love people and, and they can do things. They have a talent. It could be for singing, could be for talking, for little writing, for little dancing. People with uh, dedicated the talent they have. This is, uh, for me, the best uh, uh, love I, I do have. Not only that the, they dance. Dance, classical dancing is uh, one of the most difficult because you have to do everything without... Saying anything. Saying, listening, seeing, thinking, but not talking. And to get to the same level with somebody who has a piano and I have a body only to have arms to play, to play, and we have just this, and no talking. It's, it's the most difficult art, one of the most difficult art. So, but you have to love to do that. And I did, I did love, I love to also to transmit what I learned. In advance, we wish Nina Novak for her 97th birthday all happiness and many, many other years of this wonderful life she has. And if you would like to listen to full of her story, read a book, Dance on the Ruins of Viktor Krajewski. And thank you very much for staying with us.